the howl of the wolf Fills a lonely canyon High above the desert land They call Chicote The flint strikes a steel A cloud conceals the final stand And the noble fall Stay safe, stay warm, and you stay free with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. So today I wanted to cover these mini balls, like I was saying, mini balls. Anything, there's nothing really mini about them. So there's a typical mini ball. You can see the size of that. Here's a, a .490. Just want you to get a, a size comparison on those two. Let me put them on my palm so you can see them better. Look at the uh, look at the radical size difference there. That is a big hunk and chunk of lead. These come pre-lube. My lube is kind of dried out on these. I've had them a while. So I'm gonna apply some more lube before I load them up. Let's get you a big dollop there. I'm gonna fill in all the lands and grooves here. With a fresh thing of uh, of lubricant, get that all filled in, and hopefully that'll ram home without causing me a problem. We're going to find out. Hey, so let's just uh, do a quick review of what we're going to be doing here today. So I'm going to be firing a 50 caliber, traditions, and it has set triggers. So the back trigger sets it, and then the front trigger is a hair trigger. It's a flintlock 50 caliber. We're going to be firing this conical uh, Minet ball, and that'll be pretty interesting. We're going to be loading today um, 95 grains of 2F, the 2F black powder on that side. Uh, so 95, uh, 95 grains of the 2F. We're going to be using the 4F for the uh, pan. Should go pretty smooth, hopefully. Let's see what I can do. Okay, let's get her going here. Well, the first thing we're going to need to do, load this thing up with powder. Okay, got our powder there. And we'll get that in there. We're going to go one more on that. Make it a nice even 95. Spilling a little bit, but uh, hey, that's part of the fun. Okay. Okay, so interesting thing about the Binet ball is uh, there's no patch involved, okay? No patch involved, this goes straight down. Really uh, kind of an unusual thing. Because what happens is it expands and it grips the uh, grips the barrel. We'll get that shoved down there. Hopefully, I'm getting some of this on camera here. You always want to make sure you well seat this because if you leave a gap, you can really hurt yourself and damage your rifle. So make sure you have it well seated. You can bounce that ramrod, and if she bounces like that you know that uh, you have a well-seated uh, well seated round. So that'll do that. We're just gonna clean off the edge here just to make it look nice for the camera. And uh, we're gonna go shoot it at the old gong, see what happens here, okay? So that'll be pretty interesting. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to listen to see if you can hear the pan charge go off, the main charge, and then the hitting of the gong. See if you can pick up those three different uh, distinctive sounds. Here we go. Okay, a little nervous. We're going to do this now. So you can see me there on camera. Set triggers down.
Wow, that was pretty cool. Could you hear all three different sounds? Hey, till the next time I see you, this is Bill with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. You, uh, you stay safe, you stay warm, and you keep yourself free. I'm Carlton Fisk, and I don't smoke, but I still enjoy tobacco. I've joined the millions of guys who use smokeless tobacco, like Copenhagen. Just a little gives me great tobacco flavor, whether I'm swinging an axe in New Hampshire or a bat in Boston. So try Copenhagen, Skoll, or Happy Days Mint, tobaccos you enjoy without smoking. Take that, Cincinnati!